Dear students, my name is Dr. L. Raghumani Singh, Department of Electronics, Dam College of Science, the Dam University, Imphal. Today, I will discuss on the topic retarded protein cells from Module 3, Antenna Radiation Mechanism, which is a part of syllabus of MSc Electronics second semester under Dhanamanjuri University. Okay, let me come to the topic. Generally, in the lower classes, we know that accelerating electric stars produce or radiate electromagnetic waves in which time varying electric field and magnetic fields are present. So, the potentials in the time varying field is called retarded potentials. Now, I would like to derive the expression for retarded potentials. In order to do this, now we have to recall the concept of electromagnetic potentials, that is vector potential and scalar potential, which are given by uh, B, B equal to curl of A vector and uh, E equal to minus grade phi and uh, minus del A vector by del t. Here uh, the vector a is known as vector potential and the scalar function phi is known as uh, scalar potential. Now let me explain how these equations are obtained and for this uh, we have to start from Maxwell's equation of electromagnetic wave. So I can write the Maxwell's equation of electromagnetic wave that is divergence of d equal to rho then divergence of b equal to 0 then curl of e equal to minus del b by del t then for one is curl of i is vector should be equal to j plus del d vector by del t the first one the first equation is uh, Gauss law in electrostatics and the second one is the corresponding result for magnetic field and the third one is Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction and the last one is modified form of Ampere's law uh, for uh, magnetomagnetic force. Now <laughs> from Maxwell's equation to I can write the divergence of B equal to 0. So by vector calculus this can be expressed as the uh, divergence of a curl of a vector function so that I can write divergence of curl of A should be equal to 0 and where so that uh, B should be equal to curl of A. Here this vector function A is known as vector potential and similar again I can write uh, from say uh, equation number 2 uh, so 3 curl of E should be equal to minus del B by del T and in, and, and this in, in this equation now I can write uh, say the I mean the expression will be from here so that minus del of by del T into curl of E and so that I can write curl of E plus del A by del t equal to 0. This also by vector calculus now you can express as the curl of a grid, curl of a gradient of a scalar function so that I can write minus grade phi should be equal to 0 and then E vector plus del A by del t equal to minus grade phi and so that I can write E equal to minus grad phi then minus del a by del t so here the scalar function phi is called uh, scalar potential and then 
<coughs> then using this i want to write this as the equation number uh equation number one and i can add this with the equation number two and using these equations i mean equation number two in uh, maxwell's equation one and using this equation one maximum equation number four now we can have gaps uh, two equations so uh, using uh, now equation number two in equation i mean say equation one of maxwell's equation number one so that i can write divergence of d vector should be equal to rho and this can be expressed uh, i can write the divergence of e should be equal to by converting d into e so that i can write uh, rho by epsilon naught <coughs> and using the value of e from equation number two now i can write uh, divergence of e instead of e you can, i can write minus grade phi and then minus del a by del t and equal to rho by epsilon naught and then after simplification you can find del square phi and minus del by del t into divergence so a you can write and so that i can write rho by epsilon naught <coughs> and i can write this is equation number uh, three then again from maxwell's equation number four uh, i can write curl of i's vectors should be equal to j plus del d by del t <coughs> and then this can be expressed in terms of b so that i can write curl of b by mu naught where mu naught is the absolute permeability of the free space and I write it minus del d by del t equal to z vector like that and then i can write curl of b minus mu naught and this d can be expressed in terms of epsilon naught into e so that i can write d e by del t and again mu naught z vector like this <coughs> and after this i can insert the expression for b and e then this implies that curl of instead of b i can write curl of a e, and then minus mu naught epsilon naught del e vector by del t and this will be equal to me uh, also i can write instead of e minus grade phi minus del a by del t then equal to mu naught j vector like this then after simplification now see this i mean by vector calculus i can write minus del squared a vector plus grade of divergence of a i can write this below and then minus uh, after simplification so mu naught epsilon naught del by uh, del t great phi then minus plus minus plus then so that i can have mu naught epsilon naught del square a by del t square and this will be equal to mu naught z vector then after simplification <coughs> i can add this is the equation number i can write equation number uh, four i can add like this and again introducing here again using lorentz gauss conditions lorentz gauss condition lorentz gauss condition that is divergence of a should be equal to minus mu naught epsilon naught del phi by del t and this parameter this quantity i mean mu naught epsilon can be expressed in terms of speed of life in vacuum so that i can add minus one by c square del phi by del t and using this lorentz gauss condition uh, in the equation 3 and a4 uh, we can have two in homogeneous in a homogeneous wave equations that is that is given by del square phi minus mu naught epsilon naught uh del square phi by del t square equal to minus rho by epsilon naught another one is del square a vector minus mu naught epsilon naught del square a vector divided by del t square equal to minus mu naught z vector like this and this i can write this question number five and equation number six thus we can have two i mean say in homogeneous wave equations in terms of phi and a here <coughs> then then in static conditions 
Now I can consider static conditions. In static conditions, these two wet equations reduce to Poisson's equations. Reduce to Poisson's equation that is given by del square phi equal to uh, say minus rho by epsilon naught. Another one is del square a vector d equal to minus v naught z vector. And I can write this equation number seven, and this can be written equation number eight. So the solutions of Poisson's equation that is equation number seven and eight can be represented by the expressions that is phi of r vector should be equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught integration over the volume tau uh, rho r vector prime divided by mod of r minus r vector prime d tau another one is a vector of r vector equal to v naught by 4 pi integration over the volume tau j of r prime vector divided by mod of r minus r prime vector d tau and i can write this equation number 9 and this equation number 10. so these expressions can represent the solution of this poisson's equation because these solutions uh, this expression can satisfy this equation for this you can check by uh, doing by doing i means by operating lavlasian operators on this uh, on both side of the equation now you can find these two equations so that i can write i can use this expression as the solution of these two equations and then uh, by virtue of this I mean it's expressions we can conclude that the potentials are to be computed at some point p whose poisson vector is r so that i can draw the pic the diagram like this and uh, can i this is the total volume tau and i can just take some elementary volume tau here and this is the i mean i can take this is the poisson vector of this elementary volume d tau and uh, this is and uh, this is the point P whose position like this like this R so that I can write this distance will be R minus R prime like this. <coughs> so by virtue of these expressions I can write so we can compute the potential so we can compute the potential at this point P. Then it can be done by doing integration rho and uh, j uh, through the entire volume tau by considering this elementary volume d tau whose position vector is de uh, denoted by R prime. <coughs> then the, however this equation number i mean this expressions number number say i can write 9 and 10 this equation number expression number 9 and 10 are valid for static charge and steady current only only and then let us consider another situation in which the charge distribution within the volume element d tau change with time in such cases the electromagnetic wave will be radiated by this volume element and uh, the observer at p measure the electromagnetic wave propagated from d tau at time t and further the wave propagated from uh, or radiated from the volume element d tau will propagate with a constant velocity c and that is given by the velocity denoted given by c which is the speed of light and again the time taken by the electromagnetic wave to travel from this volume element tau to the point p is, is given by mod of r vector minus divided by c this will represent the time taken by the electromagnetic wave to travel from the volume element to the point p however we need to find we need <coughs> to know the time when the electromagnetic wave actually just began to propagate from this volume element and that time is given by uh, t prime should be equal to t minus a mod of r minus r prime divided by c actually here t is the time at which the observer at the uh, uh, observe observer does observe the fields at p and this is the time uh, taken by the electromagnetic wave to travel from this volume element to this point p where the observer exists so that this difference of time will give the time at which uh, the electromagnetic waves began uh, to propagate from this volume element p and this time is called retarded time retarded retarded time retarded the time so that uh, 
retarded time hence i can write the potential potentials number 9 and 10 potentials number 9 10 can be written like this 5 or pi of r t should be equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught and then tau rho of r prime and uh, uh, t minus uh, mod of r vector minus r prime divided by c divided by 1 by uh, mod of r r vector prime d tau <coughs> here we can see here this rho is a function become a function of r prime and retarded time that is why this uh, potential series is known as retarded uh, i mean say uh, uh, retarded scalar potential similarly in the same way equation of uh, potential number uh, 10 can be written like this a of r t mu naught by 4 pi and then uh, uh, tau or j of r prime and t minus mod of r uh, vector r vector prime divided by c divided by mod of r vector minus r prime into d tau and this potential is known as uh, retarded vector potentials and thank you